What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashets React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, so and we new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. I'm going to start with Iguazu. Seeing the Iguazu waterfalls, whether Iguazu. you're on the Brazilian side or the Argentine side, is fantastic. Though I do recommend coming to the Argentina side because it's a big, bigger park and more hikes to do and stuff like that. And you can walk right to the edge on the Garganta del Diablo or the, the Throat someone, of the Devil. You can go we've see seen that. someone actually sit on the edge of this, if I'm not mistaken, huh? I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. That's look a little dangerous. But we've seen videos like that, if I'm not mistaken. I've not seen I, I that. I believe you're talking about Zimbabwe. Oh. <laughs> or the Victoria oh. Falls, yeah. Them waves look a little too strong to be sitting up there anyway, huh? Child, yeah. I wouldn't recommend no one right try on that. Down. Don't do that, child. <laughs> and it is just gorgeous. You can take boat rides up into it as well. If you're in Brazil, you can see stuff. The really <clears> cool <throat> view of the whole falls is from Brazil side. But to get up you know, into like the in falls the is the Argentina side. So you can do both of those. Though, so, now the I'm second place on my side. list is actually a combination <laughs> of Machu Picchu and Cusco in Peru. Yeah. And that's like the heart of the Inca Empire. And the thing is, Machu Picchu is what you've heard of as the lost city of the Incas. That's it. And you go there and you've seen it with the mountain in the background and the buildings there. It is an amazing place to visit. You can do the Inca Trail, hike for a couple nights or two or three or four nights to go there. It is just awesome. Or you could take the train there. That is another option you can have, okay? When you go there, it is a fantastic place. And hiking up through there, seeing it all really is amazing how it's hidden in the jungle. And when you're there, you're probably going to have a base in Cusco in Peru. Okay, and Cusco was the it's capital nice of the Inca Empire, and also one of the kind of capitals of, of Spain, one of the Spanish capitals in inside of South America. And the thing is, you go there, and there's all kinds of the cathedrals, fantastic. And they built a lot of amazing buildings inside where former Inca temples were and things like that. So when you go there, it's got this great tourism infrastructure, and you can go around and get great tours, eat so well. I mean, Peru's got great food. And the thing is, though, you have around there, there's the Sacred Valley, and you can go and see all the different temples and stuff like that around there. So there's a really really cool place to check out now third place to check out is i want to talk about here in argentina is buenos aires okay now buenos aires is Colorful. the you know the most european kind of city you would have here in south america it had a lot of money in the 1800s early 1900s so there's amazing architecture when you're there when you're driving around you're looking out your taxi you're like, oh my god that's an awesome building that's an awesome building that's an awesome building and there's all kinds of great neighborhoods around there that's really worth checking out whether you're going to san telmo on a sunday to see the markets there which is cool or going to Boca where they paint the buildings and stuff like like that but for me it's going to the Recoleta cemetery and seeing the tombs there and all kinds of things it's a fantastic place and of course when you're in Argentina you're gonna have the two reds right the red meat you know the beef is fantastic the beef de chorizo oh my god it's so good or the red wines the the Sara or the or the Malbecs it is just awesome okay so the fourth place on our list is Rio de Janeiro Brazil and I know Rio's got a reputation for being unsafe and they you know before the Olympics a few years ago they were trying to scare people away from visiting there Look, this is a fantastic city. It is an awesome city. I've been there many times. And yes, it does have issues, okay? But the thing is, there's so many cool things to see there. Going to Sugarloaf and going up there, going up to see the Christ on the top, the mm. views from there and seeing him is awesome. And the thing is, Rio was the capital of Brazil for a long time. So there's a lot of museums, public buildings to check out. But of course, when you go there, you want to hit the beaches. Of course, Copacabana and, and Ipanema were the famous beaches that are there. But if you're looking for a safe beach, I recommend going to Leme Beach. That's the place where we go and we stay we are there and the thing is Rio is just a great time when you are there having the rodizio you know where they keep bringing the meats to you and stuff like that oh, it is really cool nice. okay now the it. fifth place yeah. i have for you is the galapagos islands in ecuador now it's off the coast of ecuador and you've got to fly out to there and it can be pretty pricey to go there so that's one thing i want to let you know but the thing is when you go there you see this ecosystem that is just unbelievable yes the galapagos you know you see the turtles you see the fish you see the the the, the blue-footed booby and things like that there's just amazing amazing wildlife when you are there and it is really worth checking out. Now going from the ocean to a completely no water place, the next place I recommend you going is the Solar Uyuni, which is in the south of Bolivia. And the thing is you take a Jeep tour through these salt flats and there's like islands where there's stuff growing in these salt flats. And it is such a cool experience to go oh, and see yeah, and do. Yeah. And when you're staying out there and having the trip, it is such an awesome experience. And what you're usually doing is you're going across southern Bolivia and you're going down beaches. into the Atacama Desert where there's, you know, into Chile that way, okay? And there's a part where there's Laguna Colorada and you have, you know, Argentina 
Argentina, you can see, and you can see Bolivia, and you're in Bolivia, and you can see Chile. And it's just a, such a really cool place, so I do highly recommend doing that. And so that is the next one on our list. Now, next up, we have Ouro Preto, Brazil, and Minas Gerais. This is the colonial center where the mines were and all the money was from those mines. That's where we really see it with amazing, amazing churches when you are there. And Minas Gerais in general is like a really nice place. For me, best food in Brazil, relatively safe too, so you got some cool stuff to see, but Ouro Preto is the place to be. And when you're there, you can do a lot of day trips to Mariana or Tiradentes, so these kind of places to really explore and see colonial Brazil and see the amazing architecture that's there, but also there's a lot of outdoor activities, so that is kind of a cool thing. Right, the eighth right, place right. on our list is Colonia, Uruguay. And the thing is, is when you're coming to South America, you're usually not going to Uruguay, you're usually going to Buenos Aires or something like that. And the thing is, to get to uh, Colonia from Buenos Aires, it's like an hour on a ferry, but like it's probably like a two to three hour experience checking in, getting over there, but it's a really easy day trip to do from Buenos Aires. When you go there, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site because the historic center. So you wander through the historic center. It's one of those just relaxed, chill, super safe place to go. Go and eat, drink, make merry, and just relax when you're there. And it is really cool when you are there. So that's number eight on our list. Now, number nine on my list is actually a kind of a big region, okay? It's going to Patagonia, which is the southern oh, part of South America, you know, going to Argentina nice. and, and the Andes and Chile and these areas. And it's so cool because, one, you can go see Glacier National Park and go see the glaciers there and stuff like that. Or you can explore the mountains there. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Or go to the seaside and you're there. That's where I got to see penguins going and whale watching and things like that. And it's just really cool. So you have this rugged South America when you are there. So that's why Patagonia is definitely a, a must when you are here. And the thing is, is if you're doing Patagonia, probably you're gonna be flying down from Santiago or you might be flying down from, from Buenos Aires. And so what I'm gonna say is, of course, I'm gonna have to add the other side on there. And when I say go to Santiago, Santiago is a really cool city to check out and a capital city in South America. But what's cool is when you're there, you can also do Valparaiso and Viña del Mar. So you get like see the sunset and as it's setting on the Pacific Ocean, oh my God, it is one of the most beautiful oh, sights you can sick. see. Now the water's freezing yeah, cold, beautiful. but it is a beautiful sight. And that whole little area there is a pretty good experience. I've always liked going to Santiago. You kind of stay in the center there and just have a nice time. Mm. Next on the list is, of course, you're in South America. Most people think of the Amazon and the, and the animals and stuff like that. And yes, you can go to the Amazon, whether you're going to Manaus in Brazil, or you're going to be in the Peruvian side or the Ecuadorian side of the Amazon rainforest, you can do that. But the thing is, when you go to the Amazon, you don't necessarily always see animals yeah sometimes you'll get lucky when the when the, the amazon's coming together you might get to see the dolphins going and stuff like that but a little side thing is if you want to really see animals and have a better chance of seeing them actually if you go to pantanal in the south of brazil and you go there you can go in the swamplands there and you really do see the the, the jacare the like yeah, the alligators and stuff like that mm -hmm. alligator crocodile cousin that's there fish with the piranhas and stuff like that so you can do that i know i really loved it and if you're in a pantanal you can go to a town called bonito which is like the, the, the capital of ecotourism in Brazil. So you can do like outdoor activities, you know, your spurlunking and your canyoning and your, your white water rafting and stuff like that. So it is a really cool experience when you are there. So that's next on my list. And the thing is, there's so many cool places to check out here. Because I, I mean, I could name off tons of other little towns you might want to go see or bigger cities. I mean, Colombia and going to Bogota, which is really cool, or Cartagena on the coast. Or if you want to do more in, in smaller towns, going to Cuenca and Ecuador. There's so many great towns to go to and visit in South America that I hope this video kind of gave you a few ideas of places oh, yeah. you might want to check out because I've lived in Brazil. I lived in Argentina. I love both my experiences there. We've traveled with the kids throughout South America. So it's not someplace you can't take your kids. Okay. But you do want to make sure you pay attention with some safety stuff and things like that. But you do that anywhere you go. So I hope this helps you give a few ideas about how awesome South America is and some places to check out. What are some places you recommend people to come in South America? Because I know this. Hey, we're going to stop right there. Make sure you guys check his channel out. Oh, he said that it's all okay, kid friendly, but what I want to do out there is like the jungle life. You know, I want to go find like one of those waterfalls that's probably hitting back there, deep in the woods or something like that. And we got kids, so, and I have a wife who don't want to go. But other than that, we are, I, I, huh? I'm <laughs> just like hiking. All of us. Right, but I'm thinking hot. about it though. Like, yeah, I don't see how that's possible. Train. Train where? The, um, the lost city. That's it? Just loop it back and come back home? And come on back. Be, I'm not fit for hiking. Well, I'm just saying, you know, and we have a little girl, too, so right. she probably wouldn't. I don't know, the boy's probably interested. You know they have they, those toddler camping yeah. things you just mm -hmm. put in there? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll have to put you in there, too. Right. A free ride. <laughs> <laughs> now, everything was pretty cool. Too much to mention. Uh, Too many places to talk about. But other than yeah. that, they all have some nice views. Yeah, let us know. What y'all think we would be most interested in? Yeah, interested tracks. in. 
I love history. Dion loves the outdoors. The kids love adventure, arts and craft. You know, yeah. let us know. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.